What's up all my shred heads out there? Tim Humphreys here. We're dumping some more clips off my GoPro. This was last Wednesday at Palisades Tahoe. Um, Midweek, all the pow, none of the lines. Let's go rip. All right, so we're rolling up to clearly not a beginner lift. There's barely anybody in line. We are psyching. Let's go up top. Here we are. Not gonna name the names of any of these runs. If you know, you know. Don't dox my spots in the comments, all right? I don't wanna bust out the band hammer. Um, so I'm gonna hop up, get a little more speed to enter in. I didn't really wanna just jump in off the cornice. And let's uh, let's just watch this thing through, see what happens, and then I'll go through it again play by play. So first thing I do is I go find a spot to where I can look at this spine that I'm trying to ride through that little slot in the cornice. And it appears that everything where I'm trying to land in between there and where the spine starts has slid out and there's a little bit of fresh snow on it, but I can't really trust it being too soft. So usually what I would do is drop in from the cornice, I'd cut a spot out somewhere up where I'm at right there and air in a little bit bigger, but I wasn't really too confident in the quality of that snow and it might just be super hard and if i took a more fall line approach you know i could slip out on the hard snow and not make it back up to the spine and waste my whole hike here we're kind of rolling in trying to take a little a little bit of an angle and as you see when i land yeah the snow is not very deep but right there that's the little crown transition and the soft stuff on top absolutely glorious just ripping some turns i already know that it's a giant wishbone spine and that you just keep speed and tee off the end. I want to air a little bit to the right because there are some rocks that stick out that you can see there. So going straight off, you either got to go fast or just air a little right. But that was the dream right there. Exactly how I imagined. Could not be more stoked. Yes. Riding out, my boy so Blake good. and I dap each other up, oh, psych dang. on our lines, and make our way down to find yeah, some more stuff money. to ride. That is nice. <laughs> While we're poking our way around through the forest looking for the next cliff to jump, I'll talk about my snowboard setup. I'm on a Nidecker Escape Plus 159 centimeter. It's about 7 out of 10 stiffness, 8.2 meter side cut. Uh, like the right length and width for my size is a power board. I got my stance set up for stomping, so we're at about 23, 23 and a half inches, plus 15 on the front, minus 12 on the rear, ready to squat things out. You know, board choice and binding choice and boot choice is definitely important once you start getting into the bigger stiffer boards as you know you need the whole package to to be able to drive that board like if you're riding a board that's all stiff with some soft boots uh and bindings the board's going to be the one that's riding you this one looks crazy dude what happened to it i just tee a cab five off this thing all right cool after a little look i claim a cab five wipe off my gopro lens because i'm not a noob and we drop in and go for this cab five a uh, little snow texture on the edge so i think it could be hard and when I take off, that was confirmed. The end of the lip was definitely, uh, you know, a little bit wind affected and it went from soft snow to hard snow right at the end. But I was anticipating that and it actually helped me to get the cab five around. That's how I had uh, such a nice snap off the lip. So sick. Woo. After all that, we get a nice glorious pow run back down and we are just ripping look at that frat wait what oh my god look at all those random chunks coming up all this texture i'm going into i just watched blake bail he's like yelling something at me so i knew something was up there's a rock in the landing they almost landed on um yeah the snow quality definitely uh, turned a little bit once we started getting a little bit lower down the mountain um yeah up top was way better so we're gonna get ourselves out of there and get back higher we good we get back up to the top, and somehow nobody else uh, rode that side of the wishbone that I rode. So, you know, why not upgrade? I'm not going to dive too deep into the back seven because it was the same plan as the back three. Just follow my track and uh, chuck the spin oh, yeah. a little harder. After lacing up that back seven, turn around with my phone out just in time to capture my buddy Blake dropping in. 
The east winds have picked up a little bit, so with just a little turn, he instantly white reamed himself in the hugest cloud ever. But he made it out through there, gets out on the cliff. Obviously, he's jumping the nose because it's Blake. Beautiful waterfall over the cliffs. Professional. Yeah, Blake. Yeah! Zigzagging the Avi Debris like a total pro. Uh, yeah. Woo -woo. We head back to the same uh, cliff hit as the first run because that thing was awesome and there had only been a couple people through there. So, you know, why not hit it again? That thing was great. So rip in, try and get a little fresh line in there, going for the backflip. Wow. To put her down a little too yeah, front man. foot heavy. I think part of my problem with landing front foot heavy on that backflip was that I've been dealing with a little bit of a uh, pulled muscle on my back quad. And I was really trying not to land really back leg heavy. And unfortunately, uh, I played that game a little too hard and flipped over the front. But we're just going to cruise out of here, take it mellow. I'm not trying to hit any rocks or any weird stuff down here and get played out on some mellow stuff. I also want to try and conserve my jumping legs and not expend any energy to anything that's not going to be super sick. I just go on this thing. Anyways, here I find myself on top of something super sick, and we are back to send mode. I see this weird little thing, and kind of oh. overdid a little bit. <laughs> uh, could have been bad, but you know things turned out all right. We just, uh, yeah, keep moving. Pretend like that never happened. I think I'm just gonna chill over here. There's some fun airs. Yeah. All right, fun airs to the right. Say no more. I'm gonna wipe off my GoPro again because I'm not a noob. We are going to clean our goggles off too. If your goggles get sprayed, your GoPro probably got sprayed too. Yeah. Shout out to Carvyware yeah. for the yeah, goggles. Yeah, the other one at the bottom is what I hit last time. That thing was super fun. Bird, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gapping. It was fun though. Okay, so I should gap. That's mad chill. All right, gapping and dropping, yapping and rapping. Ever, ever, ever shredding. I wasn't really feeling this gap with my leg how it was, but after a light little bit of peer pressure from Nile, I went and sent it off it, and things turned out just all right. Uh, kind of partying down. A lot of this is blind terrain. I didn't look at it from the bottom. I just knew that there was this little hit at the bottom I wanted to blast off of. I think I tried a back five last time, but the thing was a little verdy and weird, so I only went for the three. I was just, uh, I don't know, a little tired. And we have this little bonus hit. I was like, I'm gonna do a big mountain jib. Boom. A little switchboard slide off the, the fin. Yeah. After everybody comes down, we're all stoking, and we make our way out of there. A little variable. I come up to an experts only yeah, sign and some more warnings and I promptly God, ignore them and continue warnings. past. Don't look into it any further. What am I doing? Oh. As I'm wandering out to the ends of the earth, the east wind started kicking up. We got snow just blowing all crazy off the top of it. But I'm wearing some Ridge Merino base layers, so I'm staying warm and dry. But I'm hobbling my way out there, legs still definitely not having it. But the snow is too good, I was just trying to get clips find a safe spot to walk up to the edge, take a look at my next line, looking at jumping off that cornice into all the fresh snow and making my way down to the left. The wind keeps picking up. I'm getting absolutely pelted by ice and I go toe edge on the flow bindings when you're on steep stuff. That's how you kick in. As I ride in, I keep my eyes on the landing where I'm trying to go to try and line up a nice fresh spot in between all the tracks. Nice slow roll off it, boing off the nose, bang. Just enjoying the powder. I know there's another little cliff down here, so I'm gonna make my way over to this. Um, run into the front of that, almost flip over. Somehow didn't. And I'm gonna squeegee my way to take a look off the edge and kind of see the landing of this little hit down here. We're scraping, and I know there's a bunch of tracks down there. I don't want to go too fast off of this. I don't want to go flying into all that tracks in the traverse. We catch a nice pocket of snow and cut on out. Don't uh, don't get going too fast into all that. You don't really want to get hauling ass. You'll uh, yeah, you'll hit a bump and tomahawk through that. It's bad. After a quick look around and assessment, I decide there's in fact not really any pow down here, and I kind of just need to get out of here. 
I head to the freshest looking area of the mountain. Also kind of the most out of the sun too, so the snow will be better. And I try and just save my legs as much as I can. Just avoid hitting as much bumpy, choppy stuff as possible. The intrusive thoughts wanted me to do a backflip, but I told them no. I'm saving myself for something good, and we are going to keep on looking. I kind of see this rock over here to the left, so I start heading over towards that. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going towards. I'm just checking stuff out. And then all of a sudden, here it is. Look at this little thing down here, this little wind lip. So I'm trying to do like a front board layback thing down it. <laughs> it's actually really fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I love finding little random hits like that. I also see this other little thing, so I'm going to go over here and check out this hit too. You can hear that the snow is definitely starting to change. The sound of it is, uh, ugh. Yeah, it was like kind of warmed up and now it's in the process of freezing towards the end of the day. We're not really seeing too much down here, but we're still just looking around. I see a little cliff coming up on me, so I start checking it out. And the snow on the landing does not seem very good or the run out. After doing a quick karaoke, spotting this wave, decide to give it a little surf. Get above the lip, blow the fins out and whatnot. This actually kind of saved the run. I was getting a little down in the dumps riding through all the chop. But we get a couple of airs, keep our speed and have some fun. That guy was up there on the lip looking for the subscribe button. And we do one more little hit before we make our way out. As I get back up to the top, there isn't any wind whatsoever. Completely died out. But we found a little uh, cornice hit, and we're gonna make our way towards it. Try and do a little back three, maybe get a nose butter. I don't even know if I touched it. Uh, someone earlier said that this weird choppy stuff was actually soft, so I just blindly trusted them, mobbed through it to this open patch here. I knew there was a fun little, little wave hit here, so I blast a little grab into a spray. And we're gonna cut back up, find some more fresh pow on that last little steep thing. Really like those breaking over heel turns, they feel really cool. And we find a nice open pocket there, do another hit. After bushwhacking through the woods for a little while, I found this nice open pocket of snow. Threw a little spray there. Here's another one coming up into the fresh. Nice spot for a little butter over that roll. And these tracks, I don't know. Sometimes when you just roll up to something, you have to be a little suspicious. Like, why weren't people just blasting off that thing? So, you hear me say it, um, like, ooh, I'm on the edge of a cliff. And sure enough, yep, it's a cliff, and there are all sorts of exposed rocks on the bottom. Don't want to be too curious about that. But I could see this thing, so I jumped off it. I knew the snow wasn't that good down here, so I'm not trying to go too big. Yep, there I say it, not the softest. And we're rolling in again. I have the feeling I'm on top of more cliffs. Um, kind of you can sort of tell by how people's tracks go. It's like, why isn't that pocket of snow just super hit when everything else around is really tracked out? Um, so, saw it breaking over, threw on, uh, threw on the e-brake. Yeah, did not want to really go down that. Just not with how the snow is right now. Like, if it was deeper and better, then yeah, we'll send it off it. But see this little thing? Tried to do front blunt same way. Kind of got caught up up top. And we're going to hit one more little one on the way out. And we are Chop City. Here I'm looking at that uh, little rock and that fin of snow out to the left. I'm gonna drop in, wrap around the dead tree and blast off that. Uh, except for one thing. I am a giant dum-dum and I am still on my first GoPro battery of the day. It is like 3 p.m. Mind blowing it lasted that long. But uh, yeah, you guys will see what happens. Literally the battery died right on the lip. Oh, I blasted a front five and stomped it too. Big sad. So I go back up for another run, trying to go back and hit that thing. Uh, unfortunately, the terrain was closed at this uh, point in the day. So a little late day spiny boy on the edge. Still finding good snow. <laughs> Getting into the chop. Uh, once I make my way over to this rider's left, that snow was baking in the sun all day and wasn't very good, so I cut back to the right uh, into the more shaded. And we are kind of done for the day, so 
Why not give this wind lip uh, another little shred before we get on out of here? This thing is way too fun. It's on the way out, so might as well just high speed try and blast some air. As, uh, try to take a little more speed at it and really just crank one. I don't know. Ah, uh, super fun. But, well, that's it uh, for this day's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and learned something about snowboarding. Uh, don't like, forget to subscribe, turn off all notifications, and you'll miss every upload. See y'all on the mountain. Peace.